My name is Carolyn Alway and I'm a doll collector. I got started in collecting the dolls was um, we were making porcelain figurines and I kept saying to my sister, I want to make a doll. And she would come along with another figurine that we should do. And I said, no, no, a doll doll, you know, the kind we played with. So then she went off and bought some uh, porcelain greenware to make a doll. This is the first porcelain doll that I made. And all that's porcelain is her hands, because here you can see there's the cloth body and her head. And you, you start off with the greenware and it, you have to smooth it all off and then it gets it goes into a kiln and gets fired and then um, the next step is um, you you do a thing called uh, china painting and so then you you would um, brush the cheeks and that and give it the flesh color paint its lips paint its eyebrows and then and the same with the hands and uh, give it just tiny little fingernails. It's another one that it's porcelain and the body everything is porcelain on it. Uh, bring this up so you can see under her tummy here. See the, the body is porcelain too and the legs and, and uh, her hair is glued on and eyes are glued in and there's your doll. I've always wanted to collect antiques and because my husband was into doing um, the antique and collectible shows and sales I would follow him around to estate sales and that and this is how I started buying the odd antique doll whenever one would turn up. Between maybe about one inch high to 36 inches high um, probably would total about 200 dolls. It sounds worse than it is, but when, when you've got a lot of uh, one inch to eight inch ones, you can get a lot on a shelf. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't look as bad, but when you start counting, it's like, oh wow, I didn't know I had that many.